Hey everyone, it's Minx Laura, one, two, three. Welcome to week four of my weight loss journey vlogs. I have been vlogging every week and uh, I'm documenting my weight loss, getting fit, getting healthy in 2024. It's a challenge that I'm willing to accept. It's a mission. Minx is on a mission. Um, but yeah, week four. And I just, I don't know, what hopes have I got for this week? Well, my goals are to do more exercise and drink more water. Um, I've been drinking water every day, but I know I need to drink more. So I really need to up my game with my water intake. Um, I've been doing good with my exercise, but I can do better. I'm going to stay on the bike a bit longer, burn more calories off. Um, I mean, I walk a lot anyway, but I want to try and walk more. Um, with regards to my eating, um, I think the only thing I want to change, I've been reasonably good with my eating, right? But when I'm having like a meal, I love mayo. I, I absolutely love mayonnaise. Now, I have been good to a degree because I've changed over to the light mayo, so it's not as bad. But I'm still, especially with like salads and stuff, I'm still like squirting it all on. And I'm thinking, oh, it's all right. You know, it's less fat, it's less this, less that. But it's still not great. So I need to not put as much sauce on because it's still not good for me um so that's something i definitely want to do this week also i want to try some more juices uh we got a nutribullet juicer the other day which has been a fantastic way of getting different fruits and vegetables into my system getting more vitamins and it just they taste really nice my favorite one so far has been the orange and pineapple oh my god delicious um so yeah i want to try some different flavors this week so i'll get a bit of footage of me and nathan he's my fiance by the way uh, if you're new here uh, i'll get a bit of footage of us doing some juicing uh, we do have a laugh when we do it mainly because it's so loud it frightens me and i'm like um, and then we have the you know the discovery of the taste of the said juice is it nice is it not and i'm always the guinea pig that has to try it <laughs> um but anyway so yeah um and just keep doing what I'm doing so I hope you enjoy um this video obviously you will get to see my my weigh-in which I do uh every Tuesday morning and uh it, it's a nerve-wracking time I, I don't like getting on the scales you know I just it makes me very anxious and nervous and I look down I'm like Ooh. you know I'm happy even if I've just lost a little bit even if it's like half a pound I don't care I just want to keep losing even if it's a little bit each week but um you know, I've been losing some uh, some weight, obviously, since January, which is good. And I've also lost inches. I've got a little journal where I keep track of all my, you know, what I weigh and stuff each week and my measurements and that. So it's nice to look at the book and think, oh, well, that's gone down a bit. That's gone down a bit. Um, I also keep a food diary of what I eat in the day and kind of kind of calorie tracking. Um, I mean, maybe I'm not perfect you know but we kind of guess and look up things and you know kind of a roundabout number for meals and stuff so um I have been good I've not been over my calories at all which is good um and if I have had like a naughty little biscuit or something you can't have a chocolate digestive biscuit a biscuit but like if I have been naughty I've just gone on the exercise bike a bit longer and thought I'll burn it off that way um I really enjoyed doing my bike I absolutely love it it's one of the best investments we made that bike because it was expensive for us but you know we went off each we got it and it's fantastic you know both of us use it every day me and Nathan are both on our weight loss journey and getting fit and all that so you know he's he's amazing he does longer on it like a session than me my legs get really tired and I get a bit bored um so he does do better on it than me but I try my best you know and that's all I can do but as well it's not you can always do better so that that is my goal this week to kind of do more on the bike stay on it longer um also Nathan says what makes him stay on the bike longer is he listens to like rock and metal music because it kind of gives him that ammunition to pedal um whereas I tend to listen to like 80s dance and pop and boy bands maybe I need a bit more aggression in my music so when I do my workout later I'm actually going to try and listen to a little bit more heavy metal kind of stuff. Um, I used to love, I love Marilyn Manson. I loved um, System of a Down. So Avengers Sevenfold. Like just, yeah, I'll try a bit of rocky stuff. It might help. Maybe not. Or maybe I'll just go back to my 80s pop. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy watching the video and uh, I hope this can help you as well. Because I know a lot of us are in this position when we're trying to lose weight and get healthy this year. And well, carry on getting healthy and losing weight and being fit and looking after ourselves and 
And also, I want to quickly say there is a um, Facebook group that I've started. I've got over 100 members now, so I'm really happy about that. It's called Motivated with Minx, and it's a private Facebook group. The link is down below, so come and join. There's giveaways on there. There's lovely people chatting about their, their weight loss goals and fitness and tips and advice, just friendly chit-chat, really, with each other. Just being supportive, knowing that you're not doing it on your own is a really nice thing especially for me like I've started this group up and to see so many people join and interact with each other and help one another has really made me smile so yeah come and join the group if you would like to anyway enjoy the vlog I what I do I film a little bit every day um, and then I just edit everything together and I upload these weight loss themed vlogs every Sunday that's the only kind of videos that I do as a regular thing everyone else you know all the other videos that I do just go up whenever you know but the weight loss vlogs I, I want as like a routine so they go on every Sunday anyway right so let's start another week okay 13 seven and a half last time I weighed I was 13 10 yes so that is good good job yes! Yay! okay so it's Tuesday which means one thing it is weighing day as you just saw, the results of me on the scales for this week. And it's a loss of three pounds. I'm very excited. I'm very happy. Um, I have been working hard, you know, with my exercise. And I've been, you know, eating reasonably well. And, yeah, I'm, just, I'm happy, you know, looking down at the scales and thinking, you know, it's going down. It's going in the right direction. Makes me feel proud of myself, you know. So... From the beginning of January, I've now lost half a stone, baby. Half a stone in a few weeks. But not in a weird way, in a sensible way, you know. Couple here, couple there, whatever. But no, I'm I'm really proud of myself and I will keep doing my thing. Um, keep exercising, keep eating better. Um, I was also really good today because I have, I'm a cheese fiend and I have an obsession with cheese. I love cheese, okay. And it's not good for you. It's not good for it. Well, some cheeses are not as bad, but in general, cheese is not good, right? But it tastes so nice. Uh, let me know in the comments if you are also a cheese fiend. Anyhow, so one of my favourite cheeses of all time was Smoky Cheddar. Um, it's from Sainsbury's, their own brand. And I absolutely loved it. And literally, back in the day, I would take like a big, thick wedge and just grate it, grate it. Oh, heaven. Um, but I had like a couple of packets still in the fridge. Uh, one of them had already been opened. And once I looked up online how many calories it was for just a small amount, I was like, no, 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 no. So with regards to cheese, I've been having Baby Bell Lights, which are only like 42 calories per little round Baby Bell. And once you grate, it actually looks like you've got loads on there, but really it's just, it's not, it's just one Baby Bell kind of thing. But um, yeah, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to throw them away, which I know is terrible for food waste. But end of the day, if it's in there, if that cheese, that smoky delicious smoky cheddar is in that fridge i will eat it i will nibble it i will you know it's just got to go so i chucked it in the bin and it was horrible I was like, um so yeah that's something i did today um but yeah half a stone since january the first um very excited just want to keep carrying on doing what i'm doing also drinks wise look what i have nathan has made me a juicer we got a Nutribullet juicer. We got very um, juicy. We got very juicy. That could be a, a clickbait, clickbait title. It's time to get juicy. <laughs> I don't know what that was. No. I'm trying to do a thumbnail. That looks weird. Yeah. Um, so this is, if you've got a juicer, it doesn't have to be a Nutribullet. This is orange and pineapple. Great way of getting my vitamins in. Yes. And, you know, you fight what? Your five a day, yeah. well, oh, two yeah. of my five a day. day. It's just lovely, orange and pineapple. Yeah. So I've got a whole pineapple from Sainsbury's and the oranges from Sainsbury's, and they're just really nice. Yeah. Mm. So half a pineapple and one orange make that glass. Mm. And you do it in a little jug. And so what we've done, we've got, I've got enough of that glass now, and then I've got some in the fridge for tomorrow as well. And I mean, I could drink the whole thing yeah, in one. The whole jug for two glasses. But it won't be good. <laughs> It's too two, much. No, for two glasses, it's one whole pineapple. One whole pineapple. And two oranges. Two oranges. But one of the oranges was a bit smaller than the other one. Yeah. But it tastes so good. And it's as a great way to get my vitamins and it's having fruit, you know. And you just love it. 
And I love taste of it. And it's better than me because I was just going to the corner shop and getting these concentrated mm. cartons of fruit juice. And it's just not good for you. Mm. They look like they'd be good. You think, oh, it's orange juice. That's got to be good. But Maybe actually, sugars and, and it's sugars, yeah. a load of rubbish in it. Well, it's that. It's literally just fruit. Yeah, pure, natural, unadulterated fruit. Let's get juicy. Let's get juicy. <laughs> just like saying that, didn't you? Yeah. Let's get Now, obviously, at the beginning of these vlogs, I did say that both of us as a couple are on our weight loss journey. And what a journey it's been. It has been a journey. And obviously, I am sharing my weight and going through everything. But I will say for Nathan, without going into numbers or anything like that, he's done bloody marvellous. Once again this week, he's had a loss. And overall, I am a loss. very good. I'm a loser. You are a loser. I am. The biggest loser. <laughs> no, he's done really well. So I think as a couple doing it together... We motivate each other. We help each other. Now we're going to make it a competition. And now we're going to go and get a big cake. We're not going to get a big cake. Loser. We're not going to make, no. It's like the TV show, <sighs> The Biggest Loser. I used to watch that. Yeah. No, but the thing is, I don't see our weight loss as a competition. We're a couple. It's a challenge together. But because you're competitive, Everything as am I, yeah. you are trying to... What is it? Who loses the most? Or quickest, or what? I don't well, know. No, by the end of the month, who's lost the most every month? By the end of the month? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Why can't it just be a bonding experience? Why have you got to turn it into a contest? Because that's how we bond. Yeah, it's true. By me. And it makes us more determined. Yeah, yeah. Win everything. Actually, no, you have been winning some games at the table. Yeah. yeah, we play any game. Any game, whether it's a Switch game, whether it's a board game. Any game. This one... Pretty much wins all of it. Yeah, but I don't go out of my way to beat. No, you do. Like, no, I just you do. Naturally good at it. Oh, God, that's so cringe. I'm naturally good at winning. But you know what? Some couples, when they have games, the man is supposed to be ultra romantic to let the woman win. Yeah, to no. be nice. You're no. not. No. Well, you are nice, but you yeah. don't let me win. No, because it's not a win. I'd be happy for just one, yeah, for the sake of it. If you knew I was letting you win, no, I'd still be happy to win. Prophetic. But it, joke aside, it is good working together. It is, good it is nice. Yeah. And we do motivate each other. Nathan measures me. I bet you love that, that, that experience of well, measuring my bits. Measure you, I wouldn't want anyone else to measure no. my bits, no. My mum used to, my grandma. Yeah. My grandma used to make me clothes. She was a, a dressmaker. Yeah. So she would make yeah, all my school just, uniforms yeah, and everything. She used to stick pins in you as well. Yeah, not on purpose. Well, you don't know. <laughs> no. You're being a bit naughty. Yeah. My grandma used to make me stand on a little stool because obviously I was so short and I still am. And she'd have to measure like the length of things and where yeah. to cut the material and all that. And she'd go, don't move, keep still. I'm going to put pins in. And all of a sudden I'd be like, <laughs> and she'd, ah, grandma, you shouldn't have moved. It's not really no. her fault. I did move. But anyway... But yeah, so Nathan measures me. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, you saw these jeans. I could barely tight. do them up. They were like... You couldn't move in them. No, I couldn't walk in them no. or sit in them, so I just would I'll just leave them in the cupboard. Yeah. But now, they fit nicely. Yeah, and if you want to see a picture of me in my jeans, well, go on my Instagram, uh, minxlaw123. I'll put a picture on there and, and you can group? see it. Oh, of course, yeah. Come and see the group, yeah, the Facebook group, which is... Motivated. motivated with minx facebook group yeah. private group come and join links down below to that anyway that's enough for today obviously i'll do some film i, do, I sort of film a little bit yeah. every day and then edit it every sort of end of the week and then I'll upload like it on a sunday on oh yeah i won't mind a bit of me on the bike footage yeah. but when i've been editing that it's not a good angle of me on the bike is there a good angle of you on the bike <laughs> yeah what? from up above or something. And then you can't really see the bike, it's just your face. That's all right. Because I edit, I edit the videos and I say to Sophie, can you film me on the bike for the vlogs? It's fitness and exercise. It may be getting you at an unflattering angle. It's very unflattering. would make you more motivated. Yeah. And the other day, it was really embarrassing, but I didn't have a bra on. Yeah. So when I've looked back at the phone, I mean, you can't see anything, no. but you can see the shape and the outline. I need to start wearing my sports bra. Yeah, got I've got, bra. yeah, I bought two you sports bras. No, I just think I'll just put a t-shirt on, it's yeah. all right. But anyway, so next time you feel me on the bike, higher angle, better angle. Don't know if you wear sports bras. <laughs> That's the deal. But yeah, I think maybe tomorrow a bit of bike footage. You could get me on the twister. I'll, get you on the I'll twister. tell you what, that weight, there's a little, what is it called, a disc thing? Twisty, twisty disc. disc, and you put it on the floor and you, you do your waist like you're twisting. Yeah. And I tell you, that's really. 
But you have to play the music. Let's twist again. Like we did last summer. Yeah. Didn't get a little bit of footage if you don't mind. Do you like my cameraman? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> That's it. Pedal. Come on, Benetton. You can do this. I literally am so tired. I look like a wreck. I've had a very stressful few days. But you know what? I'm still on the bike. You're still cycling. I'm on the bike. Where are you off to today? Uh, I might go to Liverpool today. You're cycling all the way to yes, Liverpool? I'm going to go to Liverpool. I didn't know. It only took five minutes to get there. <laughs> Friday night. Gym session. Well, gym in the house. Session. Home gym. Home gym. Just done the bike. How many calories did you do on the bike? Just about 100. 100 calories. I'm, loads. I'm just so tired. That's still pretty good, though. Yeah. For a tired person. Yeah, it's all right. Because it is, what, what time is it? Not half 10. Yeah, I shouldn't do it this No. Way. It's not good, but it's better than nothing. Yep. Done my weights. Yes. And now look. It's the spinner of In doom. My... <laughs> nice. Sure That's a good, uh, it's a good gym, gym outfit, isn't it, really? Ah. I don't like getting on it there. Right. Go on. Oh. Come on, Pentaton, spin. Spin. It should be doing my waist bit. It's doing belly. something. <laughs> oh, oh. Now don't fall. No. You can do this. Okay, everyone, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed watching, which I hope you did, please click like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Um, so overall this week, I mean, it's been a bit of a weird week for me, a bit of a kind of meh kind of week. But with regards to, you know, my weight loss journey, keeping fit and healthy, all that jazz, I haven't been bad. It, that that part of my life this week has been all right. It's just other things, like I've had stresses with other things. But um, overall, you know, I've still ate well. Um, I've incorporated a lot more salad and vegetable. Like I even tried some radishes, which I haven't had for y literally years. And they're actually quite nice and they're good for you. Um, also, I've had um, different fruits like the mango I tried this week, like a big mango. I had a bit of that. It was lovely. Um, so, yeah, it's basically opening my mind and my taste buds, different fruit and veg and salad and things like that, which are all good for you, obviously. In moderation. <laughs> so I'm proud of myself for that. Um, been good on the bike this week. I think there was like one, possibly two days I didn't really go on it. But I did walk those days as well. So it wasn't like I wasn't doing anything. Um, but then like this morning, I smashed it and done 301 calories. That one counts um, on the bike. So, you know, or I didn't go on it in the week, but I've done a bit extra today to make up for it. That's how I look at it. Um, but yeah, overall... I, I think I've done all right. I tried, I'm trying to think, well, so I tried a new uh, juice this week that I really liked. Literally, just apple. I mean, my favourite juice in the juicer that we got is the orange and pineapple. But I can't keep having orange and pineapple. I need to try and mix it up a bit. Um, and I'm a creature of habit. So part of me is just like, I don't want to have anything else. I just want orange and pineapple. It's, it's pointless. I need it to try all different fruits and getting, you know, vitamins from them and, and the veg as well. So, yeah, we tried just pure apple juice, just on its own, just apple, pink lady apples, my favourite apple. Um, and just, I think, how many did we use to get one? Four. So we used four apples. And that's enough for two And that's enough glasses. for two, yeah, two small glasses. So I put the jug with the rest of it in the fridge so I can have that tomorrow. Because you want to um, test if it tasted the same as yeah. Martin's Benedict. So one of my drink addictions, apart from Pepsi Max, is the Pink Lady ju Apple Juice from Marks and Spencer. And it's quite expensive. I think it's like three seventy or something yeah. for the bottle. Um, and when you love apple, apple juice like I do, I go through it. So, it's, you know, it's, it's not good money-wise. But the main reason I wanted to get off of it is because there's obviously added... I mean, it, it says there's no added sugar. But there must be sugars in it. it. There must be something in it. Other bits. Preservatives, yeah, like it's not pure. So to get just the actual Pink Lady Apple without any of the other stuff, put it in, juice up, boom. And it was so nice. It was nice. And to be fair, them apples have been in the fridge like a week. So if the next lot we do, they'll be, because oh, I bought new apples yeah. yesterday, they'll be even better tasting. But that tasted fine anyway. Um, so yeah, it's all about trying new things, doing the exercise. I was doing my twister last night. I even got some footage of me on the, the twisky. It's twisty. Twisky. 
twisty disc to do the waist and stuff. Uh, obviously lost half a stone this week, so that's an amazing right, achievement this week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not in one week. God, I'd be happy if I lost that. Yeah. No. In total. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. So, literally, from the beginning where I started this journey, I've lost half a stone. So, what is it? Nearly. Weeks. This is the third week. Yeah. Right? Well, I don't know. I'm a vlog. Let's have a look. I think it's the fourth week. This is week four vlog, I think. I don't know. I get mixed so up with what vlog I'm doing. Yeah, this is the fourth week of January. Yeah. So exactly so since we started on january the 1st basically i've lost half a stone which i obviously found out in the earlier part of this week when i weighed myself which you saw in the vlog so yeah i'm happy with that that's yeah. a good start yeah. um i lost three pounds obviously this week so you know just gonna keep going just you know keep yeah. doing it keep well hopefully smashing it but i have thought let me know in the comments when you do your exercise and stuff do you do it in the morning, night, or afternoon, like when do you when do you find your best time? When I was younger, and I used to go up to that gym. I used to do it in the afternoon. I used to finish work and then drive up there with my friend, and we'd do it in the afternoon. And that was reasonably like lunch time ish. But then I'd come home and I'd just be starving, yeah. and I just eat. So I kind of defeated the objects. Yeah. Um, but what I've been doing on the weekends, I've been doing my workout in the first thing in the morning. Nathan's in bed having a nice little lay in, and I'm just down here getting on my bike, doing my exercise, and then I feel a bit more motivated for the day. And also, now it's done. Yeah. See, that tell, bike's done for the I day. Do mine before a meal. You do yours at night. Most of your exercise, yeah. either late afternoon or evening. Yeah, before a meal. Before the meal, yeah, same, yeah. So that when I get off and I'm hungry, I've got a meal. Yeah, yeah. I, I try and do the exercise at night sometimes, but I really struggle because I'm so tired that I'm just not giving it my all and I just can't be bothered. So let me know when do you prefer. I honestly think doing it in the morning's better because it gets you motivated for the day. But the negative, it, it just makes me really hungry. Oh, I'm quite motivated anyway, because I have been motivated. You have, I have to say, I've out of the two of us, <laughs> you are. Don't forget to join the Facebook group, Motivated, but mo what is it? Motivated, motivated with Minx. Motivated with Minx, there we go. Uh, the link's down below to that. It's a complete private Facebook group, so don't worry, you can share anything, your goals with your weight loss or exercise or meal tips and ideas, anything. We're all there to support each other. But yeah, you have been really motivated more than me, ironically. Being in mind, this is my vlog, you've gotten... I think it's because you, especially with the... <laughs> don't pull faces. Because with the bike, you really... Like, you go for it. Even yeah. if you're tired, you're like, I'm on it. I'm like, why don't you leave it tonight? And you're like, no. So, props to you. It's because the rock music is... I think it is something to do. Let us know as well what music you listen to when you're exercising. What genre? So you mainly have like aggressive rock, rock yeah. aggressive. Why are you looking at me like when you aggressive, say aggressive? Aggressive rock that make me. Stumble. Yeah. See, I, I maybe that's where I'm going wrong. So I listen to boy bands yeah. and like nineties dance and yeah. pop. I was listening to um, Salt and Pepper the other day. Did that get you motivated? I do love a bit of Salt and Pepper. So that was like shoot, pee, do, pee, do, pee, do. <laughs> yeah, push it. I had that one as well. What's the other one I had on? Um, yeah, push it. And I don't know, I can't remember. There was like three songs I listened to from Salt and Pepper. And anyway, I listen to the more softer music. You listen to more harder music. So maybe that's why you're more uh, on the bike. But anyway, we're both doing really well. As I say, I never tell anyone Nathan's information, but you have done well. He's done well this week as well. So props to him. Um, but yeah, so just going to carry on next week. Uh, more walking, um, obviously better eating and drinking. Just what I've been doing, really. Um, <laughs> face exercises. Nathan laughs at me because I read years ago, right, in a magazine article, um, that if you want to slim the face, right, you have to do your special face exercises. So I'm going to do them now. Go Are you following with me as I do them? No, but I will Go on, follow with me. No, I watch. Go on, play along. I'm not, I'm not filming you. I the door. Look, <laughs> you're doing it, isn't it? <laughs> We're in a chat to a couple. If the wind changes, yeah. see, look, instantly. Sure Thinner. Instantly. What do you think, though? Do you think, yeah, if I put it straight, a camera? Do look, not from that exercise, but I mean, no, in I general. Know, I can't really notice to see you yeah, you day. see me every day. And you always go, can you notice? Can you notice? Can you notice? Yeah. But what was the other one? Yeah, and you've been doing this other thing. It's like... No, no. I can't do that. I look like Wilma, our goldfish. 
just get your head back. Yeah, go, go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, God. This is my life. Anyway, so yeah, more face, facial exercises next week. More walking, more on the bike. Best, you know, eating. Weights. Yeah, I've slacked with the weights this week. I make myself sound like I'm on gladiators. I've slacked with my weight training. I mean, I literally live one, one kilogram. kilogram. Yeah, well, not yeah. two kilogram. One two kilogram, yeah. But saying that, though, I'm holding them longer. Yeah. You know, when you have to hold your arms out and you would say, how long can I last? At the beginning, I was like, Ugh. It was eight seconds, now it's ten. It's ten seconds. Yeah, ten seconds. So, that's an improvement. Yeah. Like, my arms are getting stronger. Not much, but a bit. Anything's better. Need to, now you've got to try the two kilogram weight. No, because I hurt my arm much. I noticed that when I was doing the weights, it was hurting my chest area and stuff. So I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Maybe next week I'll feature me doing my weights, yeah. but watching someone on YouTube doing it. Copying them, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, I can't show them because of copyright, but yeah. I can show me doing, it. doing what they're doing. Because that's the thing. I stand there and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like... Like the YMCA, yeah, <laughs> and that's another thing that I thought I'd want to do at some dance. point. Do that, just dance, dancing, because yeah. that's good for burning yeah. calories and it's fun. Mm -hmm. So yeah, carry on my journey. Next week, obviously Tuesday weigh in. Dun, 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 mm, dun. Honestly, I dread it. I literally, I dread it. But no, I'm gonna go on the scale so you'll see everything what I weigh next week and how the journey's going. So yeah, I'll, lose a, I'll lose a bit of weight because I'm getting my hair cut. You are, and your hair's got quite thick. So, so that'll the, be a pound right there. It's the pound you're like a sheep yeah. that will be sheared. Shear me, and, be and then you've lost like a stone or something. Gone away <laughs> yeah. So what are your plans next week for the and with the just journey? Being, being just doing what you're me. doing. Just be you. Just be me. You know, you actually you have got to change because you said on the bike you're going to put it up a bit. Yeah, I'm going up the next level. Yeah. I'm not, because it hurt my legs. Ain't, ain't made for you. No, it's well, too yeah, much. I did try it today for a little bit, and yeah. I was—I could feel it. It's hurt my thighs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, not ready for that yet. But you're obviously strong. You've got stronger legs than me anyway. You need to do some steps on the step. What step? You know, where you step up and then step down. Oh, right, yeah. The you can actually buy a step thing. But you don't really need that because we've got stairs. No, when, honestly, yeah, obviously. But when I was younger, I bought one of these steps. Yeah. And you get on it, off it, off it, on it, off it. But I fell off. So I never wanted to buy one again. Why don't you just use the real stairs? Well, I could use the real stairs. Do you know how many calories I burnt? Because I had my pedometer on my phone. Not calories, how many steps you do? Sorry, yeah, how many steps I did going upstairs for a wee? 30. How do you know? Did you, I tell you? Yes, you don't. Oh, there you go, I've told you. 30 steps I used just going from this sofa so, up the stairs. If you go 10 times a day, yeah. that's 300 steps right there. Oh, really? Yeah, if you go to the toilet ten times a day. Well, I'd probably do because I'm always weeing. That's what I mean. Sorry, too much information. But yeah, yeah I drink yeah. a lot of water. Oh, and that's the other thing this week. I've been a bit better with my water, yeah. but still not good enough. Not good I enough. still need to have that. That first day, you've done it amazingly. <sighs> I know. And ever since then, it's just struggled. struggled. Yeah. But I'm going to, as I say that, I'm like, glug, glug, glug. Well, you say glug, glug, I'm trying to get closer. Mm. 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 Much no, it's not that much different, but I'm a very slow drinker. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, more water next week then for me. More water. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in... Well, I do normal sort of spend a day with me vlogs and other videos as well, but this is literally these videos every Sunday. Um, the only thing that's quite got, you know, routine and structure on my channel uh, is these weight loss and keep fit and healthy vlogs. So every Sunday, come on my journey and see how I'm getting on. And you know what would be really interesting in a year's time, or even at the end of the year, like Christmas, to look back, see if I looked any different. Yeah. I think my face looks a bit different. And also I got into my jeans this week, which yeah. I didn't last time. They were they, Well, they got on, but they were like, yeah. now they're loose. So that's good. That's good. Even though you said it's not them jeans. No, I think you've got no It's not. It's them jeans. Yeah, I looked, yeah, I looked the other day, just in case. Oh, maybe it ain't them jeans. But there's no other jeans. Where? Like all right. Yeah. Look, I got into jeans that didn't fit for years, all right? They, they didn't, otherwise I would have worn them. <laughs> oh, God. I'm in a row in a weight loss vlog. I lost weight, all right? But no, anyway, hope everyone else, by the way, is doing really well on your journey. Don't forget, we're here together. We can do this. We can motivate each other and get we fit and healthy. This. We are doing this. We've got this. And if you have a few days where you slip up, 
Don't worry about it. Put it behind you. Get back on track. Like my dad. I mean, who, uh, who is Norway. Every day, every week. Yeah, trait day. Trait day. Yeah. So you go six days good. And then one day a bit naughty. A bit naughty and then back on it. See, I can't do that. If I was to do that, that one naughty day would lead to two, three, four, five, and then I'd just be back, back yeah, on the bad stuff. No discipline. Actually, really quickly before I go, I've done something really good in the week. I'm very proud of myself. And you know what it is. I know what it is. Should I tell them? You should tell them. All right. Yes. I, I am a cheese fiend. I love cheese. My name's Laura. <laughs> I love cheese. Like alcohol. Alcoholics Anonymous. I'm a cheeseaholic. Shouldn't laugh about that. But anyway... Um, so I, I, yeah, I basically I love uh, Sainsbury's own smoky cheddar, Red Leicester. I love all that, yeah. but they're terribly. Cheshire cheese. Do I like Cheshire? Yeah, that white one. Oh no, I do like that. Yeah. And French brie. Yeah. Oh god, what are you doing at me? Like so I Edam. literally, yeah, Edam's not as bad no, though. No. But I literally went in that fridge and I saw all these really fat, and they've all got red on them as well, oh, like yeah, you know the colour thing with a fatty or whatever. It was red, red, red. I was like, oh god. And I said, you know what? I can't. If they're in here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat them. I'm just gonna be like, yeah. and I literally cleared them all in my arm, and I was like, in the bin. And then you cried. No, I got upset. Well, I didn't cry. cry. I did get upset though upset. because I absolutely love them cheeses, and now I can't eat them. Them cheeses love you. But what is the point? Because yeah, all right, they taste nice, but they're so literally a tiny little bit yeah. was so fattening that I thought, nope. But, you know, same amount of calories you can have like three baby bells. Yeah, exactly. Baby bell lights are 42 calories, so it's better. Once yeah. you grate them, it looks like you've got loads, but really, yeah. just two of them. Yeah. So there we go. But the only thing I've still been naughty with this week, I can't get out of the habit, is the sauce. Like, yeah. if I'm having salad, I put loads of mayo. And I did go over to the uh, less yeah. fat, yeah. yeah, the lighter mayo, but it's still not good. Mm. So I need to try and sort that out next week. Don't have as much sauce. <laughs> but anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you next sunday for the you know next week of my journey and also as i say normal vlogs most days on my channel as well so yeah